What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 32. I think it's number 32. Hell, I, I can't even effing remember. But anyways guys, it is time for an epic adventure here. To adventure? What the hell? Are we, are we going on a quest, Brad? Like, what the hell are you talking about? We're gonna get into some surgery here today, guys, on episode number 32. We got a lot of Cena's right here. My boy John Cena in the house. And you guys know we're gonna fix him up. We have three different John Cena's the fix-ups we're going to be doing here today. We got Enzo Amore in the house. We got Kevin Owens, my boy, in the house. And we have CM Punk. We're going to do some CM Punk swaps as well. And I think they're going to be the real deal. I'm really excited about the John Cena's. Those are probably what I'm really, really excited about. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. We have a lot of surgery to do here today, and it's going to be very, very fun. And we're going to include the brand new Walmart exclusive Ghostbusters John Cena that we did pick up from Mattel. Mattel sent it our way. We did a full review on the whole entire set, guys, that brand new Ghostbusters WWE Elite Wave. If you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out on the channel. And a huge shout out to Mattel for making that possible. But anyways, we're going to take that figure and we're going to do some surgery with it. And I'm going to make my own Ghostbusters figure. And I'm going to be using a bunch of different parts here. And it's going to be pretty epic, I think. I think it's going to come together well. And I'm very excited for it. But anyways, guys, you guys know how we start action figure surgery. We have to go through everything that we're going to do here today first. And then we will move on to the later stuff. And uh, now that I'm sitting here, guys, there's like a sh ton of dust on the scalp of CM Punk right here. Like, holy Christ, wash your freak. Like, he needs to be dusted, man. But anyways, let's get into the swaps here. So just try and stay with me. I'm going to go through the shorter swaps first. I think I'm going to do Kevin Owens first, then Punk, then the Cena, so I can keep it kind of simple here. So let's go ahead and dive into KO first. Now, KO, if you guys watched yesterday's video, uh, then you know what we're probably about to do here. But if you didn't watch yesterday's video, come on and focus, you piece of sh If you guys missed yesterday's yesterday's video, then you probably don't know what we're about to God, I'm just dropping stuff. If you if you, if you didn't check out yesterday's video, then uh, I'm about to tell you what we're going to do. Yesterday, we talked about an idea I had for a figure. I have this extra Elite Series 61 Kevin Owens with a better head sculpt on there. And today, we're going to take these Johnny Gargano kick pads with Finn Balor uh, Network Spotlight, I think. Yeah, Network Spotlight feet. And we're going to pop these kick pads onto this Kevin Owens, and we're going to see what the hell it looks like. You know, he's got the red going on, the, the black going on as well. And I think that this will make it look good. Since they want to give him the short kick pads and we already fixed up our Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Football, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Football, we're going to fix up this Kevin Owens with the leftover kick pads. So that's the first swap we're going to do. Very, very simple. Just a simple boot swap just to see what it looks like. It may look stupid, but we're going to try it anyways. It's just an idea I had yesterday and, you know, it'll give me a different look for Kevin Owens. I have so many Kevin Owens that, you know, it'll break it up a little bit. Next up, guys, we have a figure from my boy Derek Henry who sent this. Thank you so much, bro. I love this figure to death. And what I had an idea for it was is uh, we're going to take the hands right here and we're going to switch it with this CM Punk. If you guys check here, he has on the red X on his hand tape here. And I think that the black would look a lot better. But uh, this one, this uh, best of pay-per-view CM Punk that has a different head sculpt on it, I'm going to take the hands out of this figure since he has the black X's and switch them with these red X's because I think it'll match better. You know, he has actually red in this attire and it'll tie in better to the t-shirt and the kick pads and the trunks. And he has black over here to fit in with this attire and the stuff and on the kick pads and everything and I think that'll make this figure look a lot better as well as popping off these kick pads and adding some smaller knee pads and I think I'm going to add these gray ones, these dark gray ones that came with the Elite 37 Seth Rollins I think these will make this look a lot better as well. So we're going to put on these smaller gray knee pads onto CM Punk as well as black X hands and I think that will make this Punk look a lot better. So that is all we're doing with the CM Punk. Very simple swaps but I think it will make it look very good Good. And now we're getting into the part of the video that I'm very excited about. I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic freaking farticles. So, all right, just stick with me for a second. We're going to have to get through this together, but let's just, just, just bear with me here. Okay, first of all, we're going to take this Enzo right here, and all we're going to do with this guy is we're going to pop his feet off. You guys see here on his feet, we do have these gray and white sneakers. Okay, we have these gray and white sneakers. We're going to pop those off. So these are removed from the, from the Enzo. After that, we're going to go over to our Ghostbusters Cena, complete with Proton Pack and all, and we're going to pop his shoes off. We're going to put the gray and white ones onto this figure, 
take these shoes, put them onto this figure, and then we're going to take the arms from this Cena and put them over here where we put the black shoes as well. So we'll have black armbands, black shoes, and black trunks. Shorts, you stupid jackass. And then, with this figure, we're going to put these teal arms on there because these are kind of uh, ugly and paint chippy. I have some ones that look more brand new. We're going to take these, stick these onto the gray shorts, and then we're going to take uh, this one, and we're going to put the Ghostbuster stuff over here, so we'll have uh, a black hat Ghostbusters, black Ghostbusters shirt, Ghostbusters arms, black shorts, black knee pads, and then black and lime green to match with the Ghostbusters armbands and all that good stuff gear on here. So it'll pretty much be this figure, except with the black and lime green shoes and black shorts, and I think that will look fire. So we have a lot of stuff here to do, but that I think will look absolutely fantastic once it's complete. There are also some head scans that we'll probably have to get uh, when it's all said and done, but we will get to that when we get there. But anyways, guys, let's dive into our first bit of action here on Action Figure Surgery, which will be the boot swap with Kevin Owens. All right, guys, so our first order of business is going to be leg swapping or boot swapping this Kevin Owens. And again, I really don't know why I'm doing this. I just thought it would be a really cool idea. Uh, if I could do anything else, it would probably be to switch out the, the you know, the, the tape here. I'd like that to be red, maybe. I think that would also give it some contrast. But you know what? We're going to switch these boots to see how it looks. And uh, you know what? If it looks crappy, it looks crappy. But we won't know until we switch it. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, maybe that will be good enough here. We're going to see here. We're going to pop off the Kevin Owens in Christ and Jesus. I don't know what is up with this damn hair dryer, bro. Oh, because it was set to warm. Well, let's run it back. All right, guys, now let's try it. Had the damn thing set to warm. I was wondering, I was like, geez, bro, that ain't even like close to warm enough, but go ahead and pop these in here, and then uh, we will be done with Kevin. Oh, oh, my Lord, God in heaven. That was super duper fire, guys, and uh, my hand is possibly burnt off. But now that Kevin Owens is complete, we are moving on to the next bit of surgery, which will be CM Punk. All right, guys, for CM Punk, this one should be relatively easy. Um, I doubt we can get it all in one take because you got to heat up one side and then the other side. So uh, maybe we can just heat up the legs first. Uh, we're just going to heat up this CM Punk's legs first, and uh, we can switch these knee pads first. That's going to be the first order of business. Then we'll come back and hit uh, both punks with the hands, and that should be a relatively easy swap as well. So let's go ahead and hit these kick pads. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. You know, these kick pads always give me a damn hard time, and it makes me just want to yell my head off. But let's go ahead and see here. Oh, God in heaven, it's hot. Oh, God, those black knee pads, dude. Jesus Christ in heaven. Still haven't fixed the tripod. Okay, got the one kick pad off, and now the other kick pad. God in heaven, this hell is... God, these things are always a piece of shit. Okay, got it. Okay, now we should be able to get the, get these... Just get them away. All right, now here we go with the, the dark gray knee pads. Should look a lot better in my opinion. Just sliding these hose on here now. We could just get that on there. Go back over here to the right side. Go ahead and plug this in. I kind of wish they were a little bit lighter gray, like maybe the Neville kick pad or the Neville knee pads from the Elite 42 would probably be good. But um, I think this is going to work pretty swell. Uh, there goes the one kick pad, and here comes the other kick pad. And all right, we got that on there. Now all we have to do is switch up these godforsaken hands. And for the the hands, they should be easier than the kick pads. You know, you just got to put them in the beam here. So uh, we'll go ahead and slide that like that. Go ahead and put this punk's arms up. Didn't even take his effing shirt off. But you know what? That's okay. Um, we're just going to put it like this. And uh, this should work. And hopefully it does. But let's go ahead and get us set up here. Again, the tripod is still snapped in half. But let's go ahead and see if we can get this correct. The lighting is a piece of sh right now. I'm not enjoying that, but you know what? Uh, we'll have to fix that next time. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna try this. Uh, when I'm removing hands, I do a simple method right here. You just wanna grab it right here and you just wanna quickly pull. No bull crapping around. You can't fart around. 
just like that. You just quick snap of the wrist. It's just the way you do it. And if you if you pause at all, you will snap the peg. You do not want to snap the peg. Again, I'm going to show you real quick. Slide of hand movement, just right quick out of the joint. You just want to snap it off, and it's really quick and easy. Just pop, just like that, and bam, there we go. We don't have to worry about anything now. Now what you want to do is you want to take your hands that you're going to stick back in the holes. You want to take those and cool those off. Now, you can either put them in cold water. You can put them in room temperature water, too but like you can just either let them cool off manually and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lay these off to the side for now. Let these cool off and we'll come back and uh, uh, and we'll we'll get these later. But for now, we're going to move on to our John Cena's and uh, we'll come back to these CM Punk's again. We got our knee pad swap with our with our uh, best of pay-per-view or whatever. I think both of these are best of pay-per-view, right? So we'll take these and we'll set these off to the side. Now we're going to come back to our John Cena's and first of all, we have to heat up our Enzo because we got to get these shoes off and you guys know how the shoes are the shoes are a big piece of trash when you're trying to remove them i don't know what it is the way mattel molds these and has that hook on there and what the hell just fell i don't know what that was but now i'm afraid anyways uh we're gonna heat up these shoes and there's some other shoes we need to heat up i know we gotta heat up some arms oh yeah we, i guess we can go ahead and heat up all the shoes at once right so we'll, we'll heat up all the shoes at once we have the ghostbuster shoes we have the enzo shoes and then we have a pair of these black and green shoes all right we're just gonna stack all three of these together guys and we're going to heat them up again all at the same time and uh, that should be good to go. We, uh, we're going to pop all three of those off and then we'll come back to our punks. All right, guys, here we go again. We're going to pull off all their shoes here, and this is pretty simple. The It's not hard to pull them off. It's hard to get them back onto that peg right there. So you just kind of pull that off. They should be pretty freaking, uh, you know, skinny there. And now uh, we have to pull off all their shoes again. They're going to be really easy to come off. It's just when you're putting them back on, they're just a big old whore bag, and you just want to punch them in the grill face. So uh, there is two pairs of shoes. Now we're moving on to our third pair of shoes, which are the Enzos. And now we will be done with Enzo. I don't have any plans of putting any shoes back on this guy, really. I mean, I could just, you know, save it and put some black and green ones on because there should be one pair of black and green left over. But you know what? I don't care. So he's just going to go away for now. We'll stick Enzo over to the side and we will uh, we will never come back to him. So now that we got our shoes off, now, uh, I don't, what are we going to do with these now? Oh yeah, these are done. I guess I could pop these on Enzo. I'm just going to set them off to the side because they don't matter. So now what we're going to do is our next order of business is I guess we can go ahead and heat up the punks, I guess, and and kind of just give these a little resties, and we'll come back and finish the uh, the John Cena's in a moment. But uh, with the CM Punks, it's going to be really easy, guys. All you have to do is take back your punks that you just removed the hands out of. Go ahead and crunch them forward like this. Get them turned inside like this, and uh, have them facing inward like this, and kind of just stack them on top of each other. And you want their holes to be facing the same way. That way, when you heat it up, all that heat goes into the holes. And what you're going to do, guys, is now your hands should be uh, pretty hard, and all you have to do is just pop the peg into the hole here, and it's not wanting to work. Would you look at that? God, that's so effing stupid. Like, bro, you clearly, the hole was clearly heated up. Maybe this will work? Okay, so the black tape works, but it looked like the red tape was an epic failure for some effing reason. Did, okay, so I got both of the black tape into the other arm. Now, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about the red. I'll get that in there before the last segment of the video, but now, for now, we're gonna we're gonna f these and we're gonna go back to the john cena's actually i went ahead and got it so all right the cm punks are completely done now now we're gonna move on to the john cena's and it should be relatively simple again the shoes sometimes give me you know a difficult deal but uh, hopefully not so we're gonna put the cena down right here we have to get all their arms so the ghostbusters arms are there uh the shoes we can do last we don't really have to worry about those for now uh, we'll set the shoes off to the side here, and now we have to heat up all the arms, I think. All four of these effing arms. Yeah, so we got two stacks here, then we're going on to the third stack, which is going to be the blue arms, because we need both of these black short molds 
to be uh, ready to go. I highly doubt. I'll be freaking shocked if we get all of these off at the same time. That will blow my effing mind all over the effing room. If we get all these heated up and they all pop off easy, I know for a fact this one's not gonna. I'm gonna have to put it in the stream of fire there. Okay, we're gonna heat all this up, guys, and if this works again, then that is that is absolutely the craziest thing I've ever seen here on WWE Extra Figure Surgery, but we're gonna go ahead and hit this and hopefully we'll get all of it heated up, popped off, because we have a ton of arm switching to do right here, but we'll have to see how it goes. Alright guys, here we go. Gonna try our best here. Oh god, his chest is on fire. God in heaven. Just Jesus. Alright, we got this chain gang arms off. Chain gang, okay, this scene is done. We don't even have to F with him anymore. Okay, for these, we just gotta get these off. Get these off and actually we can pop these onto here. So now the chain gang arms can go over here to these black shorts. That's the whole reason we switched it is to put the black uh, chain gang arms over here. So now that that is done, now we're moving over here. Gotta pop these off and the next order of business is putting uh, the oh guys we effed up we didn't oh god this sucks okay so we got the we got the Ghostbusters arm they're gonna go over here on these black shorts but now what we've done is we didn't heat up our other teal arms so you know what uh, god but these are bleeding man god that sucks I am gonna pop this head scan off though I don't like that head scan but that that freaking neck peg man what's up with that neck peg that thing's ginormous I don't know what's up with that uh, we'll find a John Cena head scan for both of these I'm not really worried about that um, and plus look at all this debris right here on the bottom. What is that trash? Um, the, the next order of business, guys, so pretty much uh, the Ghostbusters scene is pretty much done except for, you know, adding on his accessories, which we will do in the next segment. So uh, Ghostbusters scene is done until we add all his accessories, but now we have to get the arms and shoes that we want on here, and then we have to get the shoes and head over here. So I need to get the head sculpts we want for these, and then I need to get the shoes that we want for these. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the arms, I'm going to get the head scan, and I'm going to get the shoes, and we're going to heat it all up at once, and then we're going to pop all of it on there, and then we will get into the end of the video. But first, got to grab the head scans, the arms, and the shoes. All right, guys, I got it all laid out. We have both pairs of shoes, the pair of arms, and the two head sculpts that we need to add on to our last two John Cena fix-ups, and then we will be ready to move on to everything that we've done here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. We'll have our three Cenas done, we'll have our two Punks done, and our Kevin Owens will be completed, and I cannot wait to see what all of them look like up next to each other. I really need to get a handle on all these John Cena figures I have, guys. Like, it's ridiculous how many Cenas I have, and it also is ridiculous on all the different parts I could switch over and stuff like that. I, I actually need to track down a little bit more because some of these are just, I need to, like, paint them up, fix them, because, like, a lot of the head sculpts are chipped, and then the, the freaking, like, loosey-goosey joints and stuff. I just really need to get in there and just fix up a lot of them. But anyways, let's go ahead and hit this last part, and we're gonna add them all to our figures and get on with the rest of this video. I'm already prepared for these mother efforts to blow away. Like, you already know it's going to happen. I'm going to stick this right here. Maybe it won't hurt it, but I'm not guaranteeing a John Brown thing. And I was correct. Okay, maybe like this. You think that would prevent it? Maybe just get all this together here. Let's make sure we have two shoes, two arms. God, I don't look forward to this man. All right, here we go again. I'm going to try this again. And I'm not guaranteeing a John Brown thing. I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'm going to put some reinforcement back here. I'm going to put a John Cena figure, some fodder, the Enzo fodder. Let's just see if this will freaking prevent it from moving. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to try this, and again, who knows what the hell the, the freaking results are going to be, but there's the one John Cena head sculpt. We got that on there, and now we're going to go over to our other John Cena head sculpt and pop this on here. Hopefully this head is like, oh, God in heaven. I knew that would happen. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to switch that over. We may have to go back and get the other Ghostbusters head sculpt because this peg is so effing long, but we can go ahead and switch over the arms anyways, and we'll, we'll do that in the next segment, which uh, won't be shown in the video, but you know it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and get our shoes here and see if we can pop these on here. Again, these are such a whore bag. I freaking hate doing this. It's freaking trash. They're always so difficult. I don't know why, but 
they are and it's freaking annoying that I get that one I think I got that one and if I didn't I'll have to do it off camera and it's just a piece of trash but here we go with the next part did we get that one I think we got that one this is actually being easier than I thought guys we're we're freaking making some noise right now all right moving on to the next one we got to get the black shoes onto the black attire the chain gang attire okay so I guess what really helps is if the the legs and the pegs are actually cooled off and these are really hot then it works so there it is guys we got all of them so now all we have to do is uh, take a look at everything we've done because again I'm gonna have to put a different head sculpt on the Ghostbusters attire because this Ghostbusters attire leg or a peg is so effing long that we're gonna have to go back to the terrible head which you know what it sucks but it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes and uh, there's actually some debris on the bottom of this thing wherever the hell I put it I don't even know where it is now uh, there's some debris on the bottom of this John Cena head sculpt let me go ahead and take a look right here Look at this right here. There's some debris on there, so I'm going to have to get that off, but I'll see you. Just, just forget it. I'll see you guys at the next segment, which will be everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, so taking a closer look at everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode number 32. Very successful day of surgery, guys. I don't think we you know, came across anything that was too, too challenging. I think it all worked out for the better, and I am freaking hyped for the way a lot of these came out. I don't think there's really one. There's actually one that you know didn't really work out the way I wanted it to and that has got to be my man Kevin Owens right here it just doesn't work to me I mean I I like it but at the same time I think it would look better if it was just the, the face of the kick pads I, I don't know uh, also the reds don't match that well I feel like uh, this is a little bit darker red and I, I don't know let me know down in the comment section below what your guys thinking is um, I'm just not feeling it that much I mean I guess it's different you know but I think red tape would make it look a lot better I also thought maybe like red shorts or maybe a red shirt would probably make it look better as well I don't know it's just not I'm just not feeling it but there is Kevin Owens that is it for that one. Let's move on to the CM Punk's next because they're relatively very, very simple. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I think you guys will agree with me that the red X's on these hands of this Best of Pay-Per-View Money in the Bank, I think that's what it's supposed to be, or maybe he wore that. Uh, maybe this is Best of Pay-Per-View 2012, and, and this is like a, the Money in the Bank Atari Warren 2013. I can't, I can't freaking remember nothing, man. But anyways, uh, the red X's definitely look better. It ties into the shirt, ties into the, the kick pads and the trunks and everything, so I like that a lot better. And then the uh, smaller dark gray knee pads look good on here. Again, I think the Neville ones or purple knee pads will probably look better. However, I still enjoy this. Also, the black X's definitely look a lot better than the red X's. The red just doesn't fit anywhere on this attire, so I do like the black a lot better here. With this best of pay-per-view, I think this is WrestleMania attire versus The Undertaker. And then for our John Cena's, guys, I think these are definitely where the money was made here on this episode of Action Figure Surgery. Let's just go ahead and start off with the Chain Gang Cena right here. Again, this is just something that crossed my mind was, you know, black shirt shorts, black chain gang, and then those uh, those Ghostbuster shoes that they came with, which he's never worn these before. It's like a dark gray, a black, and a white. It's his newer shoes, which obviously he never wore with the chain gangs, but I figured, you know, the gray, black, and white would look good with the black and white belt, the black and white chain gang logos, and the good head skin there. Just a really cool John Cena fix-up. I am uh, very satisfied with the way this John Cena came out. Um, that one I do enjoy a lot. Another fix-up that we do have, guys, is the new improved Ghostbusters John Cena, and this one is obviously with black shorts. It's pretty much the exact same figure except with black shorts and black and lime green shoes instead of the ones that came on the figure. And, uh, you know, it gives you the full black look like the hat. It matches the, the hat and the shirt. And then the lime green ties into the lime green on the armbands. And just the Ghostbuster slime and the strap on the backpack or proton pack or whatever you want to call it. And everything like that. And I think uh, this may be one of the more freshest John... Oh, God. This may be one of the best John Cena's I think that I've ever had in my collection. I think this is one of the best John Cena fix-ups I've ever seen. And this is the Ghostbusters Elite with the Elite 40 John Cena armbands and the Enzo Amore Elite 51 shoes. I just really like the way this comes out, or the way this came out. I really do love this. Again, not my favorite head sculpt, but I think it works for the attire, man. That freshness on the light gray or whiter shorts with the gray and white on the shoes with the teal on the armbands just stands out so much. I wish, uh, let me go ahead and grab the hat because I think the hat would probably make it look a lot better as well but if I had a custom shirt to pop on here which I um, I have my one that's uh, my elite 40 that has the US champ is here shirt looks good and then my um, what is it the freaking uh, the elite 40 with the blue shirt I also have that one but uh, I didn't get two of them and it's the one with no velcro on it so it looks really really good but look how clean that is my god dude I don't know what it is maybe it's the gray and white shoes and the lighter shorts but that is fresh as hell I love the way that came out 
and I'm super excited for this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode number 32, guys. What an epic episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know down below which Cena is your favorite. Do you like the new improved Ghostbusters? Do you like the white and, and blue, gray and white sort of Cena we got going over here, or do you like the all-black chain gang? Let me know down in the comment section below which one you like the best, guys. I am enjoying it, expanding the John Cena collection, giving us many fix-ups, many different looks of different Cenas all over the years, and just some fantasy. I mean, these are fantasy attires right here, and they look epic and great. I freaking love them, but that is going to do it for today's action figure surgery and video, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. What an epic episode of action figure surgery. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.